This video is about how an earth wire works. This is a picture of a fridge. Here's the fridge. And here is somebody coming to open the fridge door. Now you can see the electricity comes into the fridge along the live wire and it should go out through the neutral wire. However, this fridge has got a problem. The wire has broken here and the live wire is touching the metal case of the fridge. So what you can see is electricity comes along the live wire following the red line and as the person touches the fridge because the fridge is made of metal, the outside of the fridge is a metal, so it conducts electricity and the person who touches the fridge gets a shock, an electric shock and will probably die. However, if the fridge is earthed, a different thing happens. So, in this case, we have exactly the same problem. The electricity comes in along the live wire and has a break. And that break, yeah, it touches the um, metal frame of the fridge. But this time, the earth wire takes the electricity away. This time, the electricity has an easier route to get back to earth. Instead of coming along and going up to the person who has touched the fridge, this time the electricity goes around the outside of the fridge, probably around the bottom, to the earth wire and flows along the earth wire because the earth wire will be a piece of copper wire which will go straight down to the earth. So this person will not get electrocuted. They may feel a sharp pain or something, but it won't die. The, on the other hand, the electricity will go through and down to the earth. Now, in this case, because so much electricity is going along here and shorting out and missing powering the fridge, which it should do if this is joined to the neutral wire, in this case, there will be a surge of electricity and the fuse will melt. The two words you're allowed to use in the exam for what happens to the fuse, you can say the fuse melts because of too much current. You can use the word blows. So in this case, the fuse will blow or the fuse will melt. In the previous case, nothing will happen to the fuse. Hopefully that was of some assistance. Thank you.